Hello everyone and welcome to the lesson today. My name is Brian. I come from South Africa and I will be taking you all through today's slides. Well, Shahai says, wow, teacher Brian. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> all right. Today's topic, everyone, is talking about work experience. So I'm going to begin with Alexandre Ribeiro. Can you please introduce yourself, Alexandre? And tell us your name and where you're from, Alexandre. Hello, teacher. Hi, everyone. My name is Alexandre. I'm from Brazil. I'm very glad to uh, stay in your class. All right. Thank you so much, Alexandre. That was really good. Let's go to Asma Abati. Can you please introduce yourself, Asma? Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. My name is Asma. I'm from Saudi Arabia. Thank you. Thank you, Asma. It's such a pleasure to meet you, Asma, from Saudi Arabia. It's a pleasure. All right, let's go to Aurelio Damas. I think I've taught you Aurelio before, but can you introduce yourself to everybody, Aurelio? Okay, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Aurelio. I live in United States. I'm from Mexico, and I come here to enjoy the class. Thank you. Thank you very much there, um, Aurelio. But remember, Aurelio, it's not Mexico. No, it's Mexico. I love it better when they say Mexico. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, let's go to Carlos Godoy. Can you also introduce yourself, Carlos? All right, no response from Carlos. Let's go to Marcus, Marcus Rubio. Marcus Rubio, can you introduce yourself, please, Marcus? All right, thank you very, very much there, Marcus. Appreciate it. All right, Mohammed. Mohammed, can you also try and introduce yourself? All right, Mohammed, thank you very much. But the problem is that your microphone volume was too soft, so it was a little hard for us to hear you there. If you can, try to make yourself louder, please, next time. And Saha Salem, what a pleasure it is to see you again. Can you please introduce yourself to everybody? Salem. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. All right, everyone, we're going to begin with our lesson material. And I'm going to divide the slides among you guys, okay, so that everyone can get a turn. So not everyone will participate in this slide. I'll take three, then I'll take four. Three, four, three, four. The first one, Alexandre, what do people do at work, in your estimation? What do people do at work, Alexandre? Okay, teacher. The people work, uh, have a meetings. Um, the people work for the money. All right, so people have a meetings. That's what you said. You, you wanted to say people have meetings and people uh, make money at work okay so can you please repeat after me Alexandre people have meetings and people have money at work okay teacher. people have meetings and people have money make money at work excellent <laughs> all right they make money at work Asma what do you think? What else besides having meetings and making money? What else do people do at work? Uh, people also can receive calls and send emails. That's it. Okay, now Asma, you didn't answer the question correctly. You said we can. So the question would have been to that answer, what can we do at work? The question is, what do people do at work? So you will start off by saying, okay, people, um, for example, make and receive calls, okay? So can you please repeat that? People make and receive calls at work. Please repeat. People make and receive calls at work. Excellent. So I want to know what people do at work. All right. Good job, Asma. Aurelio, what else? What else do people do, Aurelio? 
Okay, teacher, uh, what, do, what do people do at work? Okay, the first picture, uh, the lady, she showed the money. And the second picture, I think uh, these people have a meeting, uh, talking about business, something like that. And the third picture, uh, this guy is talking on the phone, and I think he's work at the office. Thank you, teacher. Okay, again, all right, you didn't answer my question. <laughs> all right, Aurelio, I don't want to know what are they doing. I want to know what people generally do. So you kind of have to think in your mind. <laughs> all right, so try again, Aurelio. What do people do at work? Okay, teacher, the people do at work uh, try to make some money, you know, how to pay the bill or how to pay pay rent, something like that. Okay. okay, so people are trying to make money to, let's write this down, okay, people are trying to make money, okay, make money to pay bills at, okay, at work. So people make money or are trying to make money to pay bills at work, okay. Now I'm going to take one more. Yes, Carlos Godoy, please go ahead. First, introduce yourself, then tell us what do you think people do at work, Carlos. Hello, teacher. My name is Carlos Godoy. I am from Brazil. I live in São Paulo. I like to study English in English talk. Uh, what do people do at work? Uh, the people uh, write report, reports, write people, papers, attend meetings, and uh, uh, teach finance. It was very good there, Carlos. Well done. But students, that is all I'm going to take for this particular slide. And we're going to move on. So students, we have made the necessary corrections on the right side of the screen. <laughs> okay. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. So we are getting ready to move over. Um, are there any questions, everyone? Any questions? Going once, going twice. Marcus Rubio, what's your question, my friend? Thank you. Thank you very much. I was looking for a question, <laughs> not an answer. <laughs> okay, thank you, though. Thank you so much. Let's have a look at these words. Do you know these words is the topic of discussion here? Okay. Okay. So the first one over here is attended meetings, team leader, wrote reports, manager, assistance, and traveled abroad. Now we're going to put these into jobs or groups. For example, attended meetings, you will say, attended meetings is a job, or attended meetings is a duty, okay, etc., etc. So we're going to start with Sahar. Sahar, attended meetings, is that a job or a duty? <laughs> attended meetings goes, okay, excellent, duties. And then what about a team leader, Marcus? A team leader is a job. All right. Let's go over to the next person. Carlos Godoy wrote reports. Teacher, uh, wrote reports is a duty. Wrote reports is a duty. Not a duty, but a duty. Excellent. What about a manager, Aurelio? Okay, teacher, uh, manager is uh, go to the job. All right, a manager is a job. It doesn't go to the job, but is a job. What about assistant, Asma? Thank you very much. Um, first, teacher, what's the meaning of duty? Can you explain? And the job? Oh. Uh, Assistant goes to other jobs. Excellent. So assistant is a job. 
Okay, Alexandre, what about traveled abroad, Alexandre? Okay, teacher. Traveled abroad is a duty. Uh, teacher, one question. Uh, what uh, the duties, activities, uh, you can put on past tense, I don't understand, because you, you, you write the reports, not wrote the reports. Oh, yes, okay. You write reports in the present, but you wrote reports in the past. Okay. So, they just, it doesn't really matter. They could have used a present tense verb, or they could have used a past or a futuristic tense. doesn't really matter. The main point is to try and find out what is what. Okay. So, that's the main purpose. <laughs> You're welcome. Are there any other questions, everyone? Anything else that you'd want me to explain? Okay, going once, going twice, gone. We move over. Let's uh, have a look. What was, you see now, remember, past tense. What was your last job? Sahar, can you tell us, dear, what was your last job? The job before this job now. All right. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. So you've never worked before. I know. Did you say you don't work on the, at the moment? Do you work at the moment or don't you? What was your last job? The job before. Oh. Okay. Okay. So you have never. Instead of saying I didn't work before, you will say I have never worked before. Okay. In the past. So you've never worked meaning that you've never been in a job. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, thank you so much, Sahar. And then, Marcus, what was your last job? All right, thank you, Marcus, thank you. And then, Carlos, what was your last job, Carlos? Okay, teacher. Teacher, I was an accounting analyst in a big company in Brazil. Beautifully structured. Thank you, Carlos. Beautifully said. Now, the next question that we're going to phase into is what were your duties? So, Aurelio, Aurelio, what were your du duties in your last job? Yes, teacher. Uh, my duty in the, in the past is uh, travel. Okay. Now, remember, when you answer this question, you will say, my, okay, my duties were, or my duty was. So, if it's many duties that you did, you will say, my duties were, or you will say, my duties, okay, or my duty, sorry, my duty is. All right. So, remember the plural and the singular. Plural, were, singular, is. <laughs> okay, not are. Okay, Asma, what were your duties? Um, my duty is uh, to write reports. All right, my duties is to write report. My duty is to write. Good job, nice, nice. Alexandre, what about yours? Okay. In my last job, I was a uh, computer programs, and I, I, I was make made a, a customization for programming. Um, I wrote the reports, I read and wrote emails, and talked to the phone. Okay, all right. But just remember, you were, you will say, I was a computer programmer, not a computer program. <laughs> okay, computer programmer shows what you did. Okay, and I talked on the phone. Okay, you talked not to the phone, but on the phone. All right, everyone, round of applause to all of you. And thank you so much for being able to answer my questions. Excellent. So, does anybody now have any questions for me? Anything that you want to know? All right. Seems like everything is in the clear. Nobody has a question. 
Answer these questions about your last job. For example, did you write reports? You will either say yes, I did write reports or no, I didn't write reports. Yes, I did write reports or no, I didn't write reports. Okay. Or I never wrote reports. Okay, so let's have a look. Did you travel abroad, Sahar? Ne I never traveled abroad, beautifully put. Marcus, did you attend meetings? Yes, I did attend meetings, a hundred percent. Did you get a promotion? All right, let's hear from hmm, Carlos. Well, teacher, yes, I did. I only got a promotion in my last, last job. All right, good job, Carlos. Good job. Let's have a look at the next one. Did you act as a team leader, Aurelio? No, I did not, teacher. All right, no, you didn't. You didn't what, Aurelio? What didn't you do? I never uh, did it, uh, act as team leader. Okay, so you will say, I didn't act as a team leader. Can you try again? I didn't act as a team leader. Okay, I didn't act as a team leader as a team leader okay okay thank you so much for trying there i appreciate that thank you aurelio asma let's see if there's another one for you number six mm, did you communicate with department managers no i didn't i didn't commu communicate with department managers oh wow Brilliant. Okay, that was absolutely good. All right. Now, Alexandre, I want you to tell me what you did and what you didn't do. Okay, so tell me what you did in your last job. What did you do in your last job? Okay, teacher. My last job, I did uh, the most of the questions in this paper. I, I write reports attend meetings, get a promotion, no, and act as a team leader, yes, I'm a, a how can I say, a project management, manager, a project manager, okay, and I need to communicate with departments, right, that's it. <laughs> okay, so I wrote reports, so that's what you did. You wrote reports and you got a promotion. Okay, instead of saying I write reports and I get a promotion, it's I wrote reports and I got a promotion. Okay. Okay, I wrote reports and I got promotion. Excellent, that is what I was looking for. Well done, Alexandre. Now, students. We've got one more slide that I want us to go through, okay? And this is a conversational slide where you guys will be having conversations with each other. But before we get started, does anybody have any questions? All right, excellent. Now, let's begin. Sahar and Marcos Rubio. Sahar, you'll be student A. You are interviewing Marcus for a position. Ask questions, Sahar, about his previous job experience. And then, Marcus, you need to tell Sahar about your work experience. Please begin, Sahar. All right, thank you so much, Sahar and Marcus. All right, back now up to Carlos. Carlos, your student A. You're interviewing Aurelio for a position. Ask Aurelio some questions about his previous job experience. Aurelio, you need to tell Carlos all about your job experience. All right. Please begin. Uh, Carlos. Hello, Aurelio. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Carlos. Mm. Aurelio, please. Uh, what was your last job 
Okay, uh, you, talk, uh, you need to uh, ask me about my position in my last job. So, so I don't have any, I don't have I, any position because in my last job, I just, I w work with my father on the farm and I was feed the cow, uh, uh, feed the horse. Thank you. Hi, Carlos. Do you hear me? Hello. Uh, yeah, uh, but what are your duties? So, my duty is uh, like uh, ride the horse uh, or feed. Uh, sometimes I have to uh, go hunting and uh, play basketball, uh, play soccer. Okay, Carlos, uh, can you tell me about yourself, about your, ex your job experience? Uh, well, already. I was an um, accounting analyst in a big company in Brazil. Uh, in last job, I wrote reports, balance sheet, income statement, cash flow. But uh, I also attend meeting, send a mail, but uh, I never uh, travel abroad in last job. Nice, Carlos, and uh, nice to hear uh, you have a good job. And thank you, Carlos, and thank you, teacher. Thank you, Aurelio, and uh, sorry for my question. All right, thank you so much to Carlos and Aurelio. All right, let's go to Asma. Asma, you will be student A, all right? And you will be talking to Alexandre. Now, please, it's a conversation, so it needs to go on for a while, okay? And then you will talk to Alexandre or interview Alexandre for a position. You need to ask questions about Alexandre's previous job experience. And, of course, you need to tell Alexandre, Asma, about your work experience. So, Asma, please begin. Uh, hello, Alexandre. Can you please tell me what were, uh, what was your past job? Okay, Asma. My last job, I was a computer analyst. I make programs. Uh, can you Asma? tell me about your experience? In, yeah, can you tell me about your experience in that in that job? Okay. Uh, I'm on my last job. I'm, I was a programmer, and uh, I'm programming in a lot of languages. Um, I learned to speak, speak English. Right? Is is a a good a good. Uh, oh, sorry. What I. Talk on the phone, so I can travel abroad because I don't have family on this city. Mm, so that's it. This, this is my question for you. Thank you, Alexander. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, guys. Again, <laughs> I appreciate all your efforts. Now, guys, that was the final task, and that brings us to the end of our lesson today. But, obviously, I cannot leave you all empty-handed. If you have any questions for me, or anything you want to say to me after the lesson, please contact me, and that is my email address over there. I'd love to have all of you as contacts, and I'd love to keep in touch with all of you. So if you have any other questions, okay. And uh, of course, the other thing is, I would encourage you all to try and focus on expanding your vocabularies, okay. Firstly, by reading, and then reading allows you to come across new words. The next thing is to investigate, looking up new words in a dictionary, and the last one is the application process. 
look up words, sorry, to apply them in a sentence so that they can become a part of your vocabulary. Now, one more thing. I want to show you guys this, and this is important. This is what we call the survey, where you will be telling EF what kind of a teacher I am. Now, everyone, we always try to aim for excellence, and so we always try to give excellent lessons. So I hope and pray that <laughs> on the teacher quality and the overall impression of the lesson, I was an excellent teacher because then that will help me in my career. And by the way, I've got some great news. My daughter was born on Friday, so yeah, I'm a happy guy. <laughs> but students, muito obrigado. Thank you to everyone for working really hard in the lesson. So I hope to see everybody soon. Bye-bye, Alexandre. Bye-bye, Asmar. Bye-bye, Aurelio. Bye-bye, Carlos. Bye-bye, Marcus. And bye-bye, Shahar. Bye-bye, <laughs> teacher. And bye-bye, everyone.